Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and tonight we have Megan Copin Catherine again, the Princess Royal on an impossible mission that has to do with um, gingerbread and an important update about Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Thompson. But before we begin, remember that I have a brand new satire blog about the Montecito duo at Duke and Duchess of Sausages.com, which with gems such as that time Megan wore an eggplant costume when she found out it was William's favorite emoji. You can check it, check it out using the link in the description of this video. First stop is an interesting body language tip did from this report. King Charles urged to send Princess Anne to deal with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Uh, this was an odd article written by a royal commentator that suggested that if there was one person who could wait for it, bring Harry and Meghan back in, into the royal fold, it was the Princess Royal. I think that, yes, Princess Anne could have a word or two with the Harkles, but not precisely to bring them back, but to go full Terminator on them, but not to terminate them in the sense of the legendary sci-fi franchise, but terminate their BS for good. Tell them to behave like grown-ups and stop with the nonsense. That's something that I would like to see, and the Princess Royal's reputation speaks for itself in that department. But besides the speculation of Princess Anne parachuting down in Montecito and executing this royal operation, what I noticed was the picture that they used for this article, in which you can see Harry and Meghan interacting with Anne in one of those uh, 72 days that they were so-called working royals. The feather had not manifested yet. You see that Harry is rather uncomfortable with his head brought back and Meghan is standing sideways with a not-so-genuine smile. I'm sure Anne made her feel nervous. Uh, when you see their feet, you see the whole story. Yeah, Megan is standing sideways in respect to Anne, whose feet are firmly planted on the ground with a slight angle, while Harry's plain feet signal that he wanted to be elsewhere, but right in front of his aunt. Maybe he knew that she made Megan feel uncomfortable? <laughs> you bet. But well, Megan reappeared in the wrong weather to merge a long coat that's designed for winter. I don't know if she does it for style points or what, but the case that she wanted to be seen, and in this case, coping Catherine yet again. And it's important to remember that even if it was the same month of the year, you cannot compare the weather of California with London, right? And just a heads up that to avoid using Megan's actual paparazzi pictures, I have decided to generate my own pictures with artificial intelligence thanks to my non-existent paparazzi company, Backshots. I mean, it's the next best thing. I have been criticized not because it's artificial intelligence, but because Megan looks better in my artificial pictures than in real life. Well, next time I will make sure that her clothes match her scraggly reality. And I wonder how long until the Sausage Squad starts to use my images instead of Megan's. And speaking of pictures, do you remember that we checked out Megan's pick for her latest blog post, right? Well, thanks to eagle-eyed rogues, I have been able to share with you the following YouTube comment that uh, had to do with that strange pop sound that exploded when Megan stood up. I do voluntary work at the Mayhew, and I remember this well. She was over an hour late, and uh, only stayed for 40 minutes. None of us could believe the loud noise her belly made when she stood up after crouching down. It was a very audible boom sound, and I noticed her look at her bump and stroke the bump as if nothing had happened. Well, this is one of the things I love about a royal commentary. You never get bored of all the loose ends and mysteries that pop up and don't have an explanation yet. And among those mysteries, we found out that Meghan Markle dined with Oprah Winfrey's new TV exec, Terry Wood, at a trendy Japanese restaurant in LA just hours after lunch with her fashion designer friend, Claire, Claire Wade Keller. 
By the way, that's the same clear weight killer that appeared in the Harry and Meghan dog shot mentory. So you know that she's still part of the inner Harkle circus. Uh, I mean, circle. Or, well, circus also applies. But one thing to consider from all these Duchess of Temu's escapades is that now she's being followed to these lunches and dinners by the same photographer. As Roger Lee Sage says, She is now traveling with a photographer for lunch and dinner dates. This is desperation to appear important. She isn't. So you can guess that she's going, uh, she's doing what Morgan Tremaine commented the other day, taking the pictures herself and then selling those pictures to Backgrid. Well, cool. Then updates about one of the most unintentionally famous members of our royal soap opera drama, Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Thompson, King Charles, hot equerry who became an internet phenomenon during the coronation, is moved to less public-facing role at Buckingham Palace after not enjoying the attention. Also known as a major eye candy, originally won admirers over the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, and since then had only gained notoriety thanks to not only to mentions on social media, but the inevitable tabloid scrutiny. Insiders whose name will be hidden for the usual reasons have suggested that his role has changed to a more private executive position because, well, he was not enjoying the public attention he received. And I can understand that. Not everyone likes the amount of fame that comes from working for the royal family and looking like you are going to be cast as the next James Bond. But This is something that I had to address, and it's the way the Sausage Squad has been relentlessly attacking Catherine, William, and their family in the time that she has been away. And they blame us, fans of the royal family, that we haven't demanded a photo of her or an appearance, or I don't know, do you want Catherine doing a TikTok daily video about her healing process? Is, is that what you want? The only issue I see here is that the Sausage Squad are completely unaware of the concept of privacy. It seems that their minds cannot grasp the idea that when someone politely asks us, decent people, to respect people's privacy, we actually enforce that respect. In fact, you remember that I got mad at some of you sharing William's pictures outside of the hospital. But uh, this is something that the Montecito stands could never grasp. And that's what separates us from them. By the way, if Megan had lunch in Beverly Hills and then had dinner in the same area, roughly nine, mil, nine, nine miles away, it means that she spent the whole day around Los Angeles. And since you have to add the two-hour drive from Montecito to the California capital, maybe she had dinner at that restaurant, she also decided to stay that night at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I don't think it will be safe for the Duchess with all the security concerns of her husband. So I would like to mention this tweet that went viral a couple of days ago and I got some flack on X for having a strong opinion about this. Houston has a 24-hour daycare. More states need to have this. I mean, I can absolutely see how Megan could make good use of this. Seriously. That, that would be perfect so she can keep doing her empowering or whatever she does. And there were also news about Tyler Perry, and I was facing this dilemma. Is this royal news or pop culture news? So I think it will be much better if I cover this on my Screen Surgeon channel. So make sure to go to my Screen Surgeon channel with the link in the description of this video to find out what shenanigans is Perry up to and how it will affect the Duchess. My royal rogues, I would like to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue. And remember, much love and bliss.